The following contains spoilers for Nier Automata. Viewer discretion is advised. The idea of artificial intelligence is usually followed up with many moral and ethical questions, and Nier Automata definitely follows this inclination in its core plot. I want to ask what divides Nier Automata's AI to our technology today, but first we need to ask what divides true artificial intelligence and human intelligence. The short answer is often argued to be the ability to learn and create. But if we go by that answer, then that already exists in AI. But what of our soul, or rather what separates us from them? I would argue that what separates us isn't our most complex of capabilities. So there are many, many different parts of the brain. For our purposes, I'm just going to concentrate on three major areas, known as the hindbrain, the midbrain, and the forebrain. The way brains evolved was from the inside out, so the spinal cord and the hindbrain were the first to develop, and this controls breathing and automatic responses. The midbrain evolved after that and helps us with balance and a whole bunch of other stuff. But it isn't until the forebrain, which developed last, that we develop such things as speech. When you look at other animals, their sections of the brain are largely similar to humans, but they often lack the stuff that comes later. In Richard Courier's textbook, Unbound, How Eight Technologies Made Us Human, Transformed Society, and Brought Our World to the Brink, it is argued that we see self-awareness evolve at the same time speech and language evolves. That is to say, the ability to form unique languages to communicate with one another. But if it were just this alone, I would say that technology that exists today is capable of doing so, manipulating words to get ideas across that are unique. Not always perfectly, but we're on our way. When we think of what AI can do, they're quite capable of understanding complex ideas and seeking out knowledge to help us achieve a goal. These are all aspects of the forebrain, the part of the brain that develops last in humans. Your hindbrain, in charge of reflexes and breathing, solely exists with the purpose of keeping you alive. Can we argue that machines and androids differ from us because they must be programmed to keep running? For me, that argument is weak at best. The information in our hindbrain and spinal cord tell our bodies to do these important functions, but they're coded in us as well. No one directly teaches us to breathe, but the information is passed on from parent to child through DNA. Instead of a coding program, we instead use intercourse. For me, what separates artificial intelligence from human intelligence, and subsequently what separates technologies today to the future world of near automata, is actually the midbrain. The best marker of human-like desire is that which conflicts with a person's best interests. I think you see this best with the relationship between 9s and 2B. Now, I'm not going to get into implications of emotions versus what the androids and machines think are emotions, because at the end of the day, emotions are a part of your brain, but are also biological impulses. But if you have to be self-aware, and you believe that you are self-aware, is that any different than actually being self-aware? Anyway, Nines is more than willing to be emotional at 2B, whereas 2B ignores her emotions. Nines and 2B are both androids created for the same end goal, glory to mankind, and both experience the same emotions, but both come up with very different results. Being honest about the emotions would create support and happiness, but would increase and create conflict and vulnerability to the end goal. But ignoring the emotions creates vulnerability as well, and pain that can interfere with performance. One choice is not necessarily better than the other, but these two androids with similar programming for the same end goal end up with two drastically different responses. They are not gathering data to make the best decision for the whole, but rather choosing the decision that they can live with. Your emotional responses and memories are located in your midbrain. And not only does this emphasize that there's no difference between the artificial and human intelligence in the game, other than the fact that human intelligence doesn't actually exist at this point in the game, it also definitely gives the answer that the game wants you to see, that there's no differences between the androids and the machines. Consider Pascal's grief. Nothing can come out of Pascal's death. It would be a waste of utility, and yet he begs for it anyway. His guilt outweighs his goal for peace. This lack of response from computers nowadays tells me it's the midbrain's capabilities that separates technology nowadays from the future androids and machines in Nier Automata's world. If you like this video, please give it a like. I'll be doing other videos in the future. If you like Persona, check out some of my Persona videos. And subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks!